Hello everyone, Alistair Gold here. I'd like to thank you for joining me at that part of the season we find ourselves at every year, well, certainly the last 15 years or so, where we realise that there's absolutely no chance of Tottenham Hotspur winning any silverware. It's far too regular occurrence, thoroughly depressing every time, but here we are, discussing it once again. <sighs> last night. It's very difficult I think now to see a future in which Antonio Conte is the head coach of Tottenham Hotspur next season. I, I don't think that's a, a giant leap to say um, and the mood around the club is not great. <sighs> the way things are going you know could it end that relationship sooner than that? <sighs> I mean after the game he delivered, again, Italian media, some quotes that did not go down well with people, uh, the fans. It took a little bit of time to come out. I think he was absolutely soaked by the rain. So I think he, he had a shower uh, and then came out. And then, yeah, the first one, he, or one of the first few broadcasters he spoke to was one of the Italian broadcasters, Amazon Prime. And among the questions they asked, there was quite a few, he was asked whether he wanted to continue as Spurs boss. And so this is what he said, but I must stress this is with translation. So it might not have captured the exact words he wanted to use or would have used naturally. Um, <coughs> he said, these are pretty bad questions tonight. I'm tired because I underwent an operation. I continue to work. I have a contract with Tottenham. I respect the contract. At the end of the season, assessments will be made with the club in the most serene way. Obviously, it's the, clearly wouldn't have said serene. I'll have my way. I'll have my say. Sorry, not way. Say. I'll have my say. I have a contract about to expire, and let's see how the season ends. Maybe they can send me away even earlier. Perhaps the expectations were higher and may be disappointed. What matters for a coach is trying to work and raise the bar. This year, we are struggling to raise the bar. Bringing the level from average to good is much simpler. While raising it again, problems arise. So yeah, I know I don't think some fans have been delighted about the terminology. Um, what is it? Maybe. Where is it? Uh, maybe. Maybe they can send me away even earlier. It almost sounds like he's like, please do. I'd, I'd be stunned if the wording of that actu actu accurately reflects the way he was trying to say it. I'd imagine that it's more like, you know, I think he said this in the past, and it's something all managers say that, you know, it's not down to me in the end of the season. Maybe they'll, you know, they might be unhappy and they'll get rid of me before that. I don't think it quite will have sounded the way it's come across in that translation. Um, but yeah, interestingly, he admits that they're not raising the bar on last season and they're not making an improvement. Um, it was quite interesting this morning. Spurs are very quick to fire out their email that they fire out to say that Antonio Conte will be holding his press conference uh, on Friday afternoon ahead of Saturday's home game against Nottingham Forest. Um, and yeah, the implications are that a, an imminent decision isn't the case. Um, before but the problem for Conte I feel right at the moment is that this point last season he was in quite a position of power there were lots of questions about his future but he kind of he held you know the ball was his in his court very much um and you know he's quite good when he goes into a club of doing this thing of almost like divide and conquer thing so he goes in shakes it all up a bit uh, make some big noises and indirectly really at Spurs I guess he pitched towards uh, pitched the fans or fans against the owners knowing that there's this already this kind of frustration bubbling over um, and he's come in and said like you know oh we need to be ambitious I'm an ambitious man if I'm sticking around it'll be because I believe we can do this and that and that obviously has played off nicely with the fans wanting to see the same thing and that's, you know, created what it created. However, you know, I feel like this season he's lost a lot of that rapport with the fans. You know, I, there was no night. As we were trying to work it out. Even though he was returning last night for the, in front of the Tottenham Hotspur fans, 
I don't think there was ever any chance of Antonio. I, unless I'm mistaken, people at the ground might be able to tell me. But the fact that this was his first match back, I don't remember in the early moments any chance for him at all. Um, and I do think that's a little bit of an insight into a kind of a growing disillusionment with, I guess, his management. Um, a lot of people around the club, I also speak to people around the players, and the one thing I keep hearing was that while he was away, Conte, Hotspur away was just kind of a more, what's the way to put it, I guess a relaxed place. Um, I don't want to go as far as say happier place, but just relaxed. I guess I used this analogy before, but it is very similar. It's It's like when your teacher is away for a day or two and the substitute teacher comes in. At first it's a bit like, hey, we can muck around. But then sometimes that substitute teacher just has a little bit of a fresh way of delivering things and you take in a little bit more you take in a bit you've kind of got used to this one voice maybe an authoritative 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 voice who may be or authoritarian I guess is a better way of putting it someone that you know you're a little bit scared of perhaps as well so when he wasn't there I don't think it's any coincidence that they beat Man City they beat West Ham they beat Chelsea three huge home games that they won all of them um but obviously that over-complacency set in, and that's why you got what happened at Bramall Lane. But he didn't even look angry after the game. He looked really kind of a, oh well. Um, and if I'm him, you know, I'm thinking about my Champions League record, which is dreadful. You know, for a guy that's won so many league titles, his Champions League record is terrible. He's never got past the quarterfinal. Um, a manager with his status and... and uh, salary, silverware, CV, whatever you want to look at, should be doing far better in the Champions League. It's just been a dull season, so predictable. Um, and I think his in share of the blame has increased and increased in recent months. Um, because this is a problem. He keeps using these words, building a foundation, starting a process, all of this sort of stuff. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But you've got to be able to show that what you're doing resembles a process or resembles a foundation being built in any way. And that's what's most difficult to see right now. I still don't know what Tottenham are. I don't really know. If you could ask me the way they play, is there a set style of play? I don't think there is. Um, and obviously he doesn't help himself by talking about a process and laying the foundations, but showing no real intent whatsoever to continue that process or build anything on top of those foundations. It's, yeah, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. He's um, kind of almost makes it sound like he's just doing everyone a favour by being there. That's the worst way to act. That's the best way to rile up a fan base and rub them the wrong way. Um, so Saturday brings Nottingham Forest. Forest's record is absolutely horrendous away from home. One win from 12 matches. I think they've got three draws. Um, it's a game that Spurs and Conte have to win if they don't I do fear that the managerial mayhem will be back with us um, just for me I've said it before and I stand by it 100% Spurs need to find their identity again I don't know what their identity is um, it was meant to be all this beautiful football attractive football entertaining football doing things the right way playing young players bringing them through um, I feel it's just got lost with Daniel Levy kind of doing his little bit and like, I want that one, and just deciding suddenly, ah, oh, I love that manager, ah, oh, I want that manager, ah, oh, I want that one, let's do this. Yeah, but that's nothing to, that doesn't fit the profile or anything we've been doing before. Yeah, I know, I don't care, I, I want him. And it's just like, yeah, they need to play good football again, and the fans ultimately just need to enjoy supporting Tottenham Hotspur again. Mm -hmm.